Hello everybody, this is Shannon with Beads and Babble. I'm here with a very easy, quick, beginner-friendly necklace that you can make using pre-linked chain. And these happen to be recycled glass beads, but you can use the pre-linked chain with gemstones or for that matter, a large linked chain. There's different options, but I went with this more boho style of glass beads because it's just colorful and pretty, especially with spring coming. And I thought that I would do something colorful. So what we have here are three strands of pre-linked, glass accented chain. We have the back portion is deerskin leather lace and it's simply knotted to the oval jump rings that I will have a tutorial on how to make uploading tomorrow. But I'm going to also show you today how you can do it with just round jump rings too, which I have a tutorial about how to make those on the channel as well. And I will link them to this video. So it's a very pretty, comes out to about 32 inches overall. So it does not require a class. It can be slipped over your head to be worn. Um, very comfortable. Pretty um, drape, uh, a good weight, not too heavy, but it'll hang really nicely. So I'm going to bring in the tools that we'll be using. Of course, you'll need some kind of measuring device, some flush cutters for cutting the leather, some round nose pliers, and two um, pliers, whether it is a flat nose, chain nose, or bent nose, just a set of both for opening and closing the jump rings that we're going to be attaching the um, beads and leather together with. And if you have it, one of these boards come in handy. And the reason why I say this is because when you're doing a multi-strand um, necklace, and this is in, even with a bracelet, each strand is going to be a different length and due to the curvature being different on all three of the strands. Now this particular chain I cut, the longest is the outside one, I cut it 20 inches. The middle I cut at 18 inches and the inner, most inner chain I cut at 16 and a half inches. Now this chain, I do sell it in the store and it comes pre-linked with a random mix of recycled glass beads. Um, the glass is recy recycled um, to be made into beads, which is really nice way to um, recycle glass. And it's linked with some silver. Um, I'm assuming this is a base metal. It's definitely not a, um, I'm going to say it's probably a base metal with a silver uh, plated finish. And it's nice because you can quickly make this necklace using it. But if you have some chain that has gemstones, I also have some uh, gemstone pre-linked chain in the store as well. But if you're looking to do something fast and come out with a beautiful result, this is definitely one of those projects. And this, and these bead boards came in handy, so you do not have to um, guess at the measurements or uh, fiddle with those. You can literally lay it out, um, you know, starting from zero and moving this way. And I went up to ten, which is the outside would be twenty, which is what I cut. And then as you lay this in here, you'll um, cut it to match. Just makes it so much easier than having to do the math on it. Um, 
So these are the round jump rings that I was speaking of that I have a tutorial on how to make. I used the oval ones in the initial necklace, but I'm going to use the round 10 uh, millimeter in diameter, inside diameter jump rings for this necklace. So I'm going to bring in both sets of pliers. I have a chain nose and a bent nose here to open up these round jump rings. I'll bring in the camera finish a little bit here so you can see this in more detail. And what I'm going to do is you're going to start with the inside strand first and you're going to thread that strand on. Then you're going to strand the middle one and then of course the last one. And this is 16 gauge wire that I made this jump ring out of. Copper core, silver plated copper core craft wire. And as you can see, you want to open and close the jump ring side to side, never pulling apart. That weakens the jump ring. Okay, that side is done. We're going to grab the second 10 millimeter round jump ring. Get a firm hold on it here. Open it. And I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to put the innermost chain in, the middle, and then the outer. I'm going to close the jump ring. Right, I'm going to lay those out there on the board. And I'm going to come in with the five millimeter leather lace cord. This comes in a lot of colors. It's very uh, soft, so it's very comfortable against the neck. And what we're going to do is you can have the knot on either side with the excess, or you can even actually cut that closer if you don't like the tail. Um, I kind of liked it with about an inch tail. And then just tying a knot. Um, and I'll show you how I did that. Righty, I'm going to go through the 10 millimeter jump ring. I'm going to bring this leather cord up to where there's about three inches of tail. I'm going to go around the back side and then up through the loop. So I'm going to go slow with it so I get a nice knot, adjust it down towards the jump ring, and then I'm going to tighten it with my fingers, just moving it until it's snug against. And you can wear the necklace with it. Now this one I'll do where it's, um, since I left the tail on that one, I'm going to make this one a little bit differently. Right. Set that one there and then I'm going to untwist the length of this leather so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. Do the same thing here. Sure, I'm threading it through with that leather laying correctly so it mirrors the other side. So I'm going to bring it up to where it's about three inches. Go around and then up. Through that little knot. Tightening it with my, bringing it down on that jump ring and tighten it with my fingers. I get a good snug hold. Let's 
See that? I pulled the jump ring part. 